So the first exercise that we're gonna go through is diaphragmatic breathing. If I could teach this to every single runner, I would. The diaphragm is one of the most important muscles because it's kind of the keystone that separates our shoulders and what works in our upper body as well as our core and our lower body. If we can get our diaphragm to work well, our core and our abdomen can work a lot better to get the power from our hips and to keep just good feeling in our back. Um, the diaphragm itself, as a muscle, it separates our chest from our belly. So it kind of splits them in half and it attaches to the rib cage in the front, it comes around to the ribs in the side, and then actually attaches to the rib cage and the spine in the back. So it is a big muscle with a big function. When that muscle contracts, what it does is it actually pulls down in the center, which allows our belly to expand and really fill up our lungs. It can get better lung capacity, which for a runner is something we're always looking for. Um, so to teach this exercise, I'm gonna have you lay on the back. We want to be in a very relaxed position. So you can slide pillows underneath your knees, or you can actually even add more pillows behind your head. Wherever you feel like you're able to completely relax and not hold tension in your shoulders, tension in your back. Very, very relaxed as we go here. To start, we're going to put one hand on the chest, one hand on the belly. So first step, just take a deep breath. See which hand moves the most. So with that assessment, we're just not trying to do anything. We're not trying to do what we think we should. Just see what your body does naturally. Most of us are going to move mostly from the chest. For whatever reason, we develop that pattern of breathing. So to train this, what we're going to start with is seeing how we take a deep breath and keep the top hand quiet and really let this bottom hand lift up and expand. We're not pushing that hand up. We're not trying to engage our muscles to do it. When the diaphragm activates and starts to work, we're just allowing that diaphragm to pull down into the belly and fill up our abdomen. So she's very good at it because she's had some practice. Um, but if you feel like you're trying too hard and you're starting to tense up through your shoulders, tense up through the lower body or your low back, just shake it out, relax, and then start again. So we really want to see if we can be fairly relaxed, expanding into that belly. Once you start to get the feel of that and that gets very comfortable, we're going to move into the waist and the side body. So you can move your hands to your waist. And now see, can we include the expansion into the side? Can we breathe into that waist and that lower rib cage and allow that expansion to start to fill up in those directions? You won't get as much of a lift forward, but that's okay. We're using all of the fibers of that diaphragm and starting to train them to work. Once that's comfortable, we can actually see if we get the back fibers to work. You can do it in this position and see if you can get the expansion all the way around. I like to flip onto my belly sometimes um, because we can really allow us to start to work um, kind of not the pressure. It allows gravity to be a little less intense of our body weight. So once we're getting all of those positions around, we can start to incorporate this into everyday life. We can start to do it while we're running, while we're moving our legs, even just laying down. It's something that takes a while because it's training a very new movement pattern. As we get used to it, continue to practice it, it's a struggle at first, our brain starts to think that it becomes more normal. And it's not something you have to think is hard to do, but it really can help you maximize your potential in a thousand ways and your ability to enhance that lung capacity and have a very strong and functional core. So using this time wisely, this is a great exercise to just start to rebuild a foundation for your running technique.